you know what day it is today guys? It's spray paint day. So finally I'm getting round to doing the body on this Kronos XTR. The stock body took quite a bit of beating over time with all the big bashing and huge sends I've been doing with this car. A couple of crashes and a few splits and it was just looking a bit tatty so I thought now's the time to get this body sprayed. So before I do that I'll just quickly go over a couple of light changes I've done with the car. Um, it's all going great, no issues, but firstly I've switched the tyres, um, not for performance reasons, just for look. I've put a set of uh, D-boot backflips on, which you can see there's a Chrono stock tyre. They're the same diameter. I think the Kronos is slightly wider, but um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but if it is, there's really not much in it, just a, a minor bit, maybe a, a bit of 4 or 5 mil difference. So I've put them on just for looks, when I do the new spray paint I want to have a different look with the car. So I've put a set, like I say, there on, to keep on repeating myself there. Um, also what I've done is, the, the shocks at the front I've kept stock. The back ones were fine, I've just tried them. Um, I just want to see how this handles, because obviously I'll, I try to land on the back wheels a little bit more than the front. Just obviously when I'm doing big sends, I kind of like to come down back wheels just a tad before the front. So what I've done is I've had a mould Mojave, I've had a couple of spare shocks for that, so I've put Armour Mojave shocks on. Um, they seem a little bit heavier than the Kronos ones, which were absolutely fine. But I've put the Kronos springs on them as well. So that's a Kronos spring with a Mojave shock at the back. Um, it's got a nice feel to it with that, so I'll see how that performs, but if I don't like it, I'll just put the standard shocks back on. Other than that, we're still running the 4274 Easy Run motor with the Torox system and the 20 kg servo. So, yeah, the car's going great, um, just needs a little bit of TLC. I had it cleaned up a little bit, but I took it out again and before I take it out after the spray paint, when we get this video all finished up, I'll get it all cleaned up a bit more, looking good again. So I'll show you the paints I've got just now. Um, when you first look at it, it looks like a pink, but it's actually cherry red. When they came, I thought it was the wrong tins. Um, I don't know what it says the colour. What does it say? Yeah, there we go. Cherry red, so it's Tamiya PS33. So I've got two tins of that to do the body. And I've got a, a white here, a PS58, just to sort of back it with. So, with a white back, and I think it should help the cherry red pop a bit more. Um, I was going to try and do as well some fancy designs. I was looking at bits I could mask up and do a two tone. But what I've actually decided to do is keep it simple, but for a bit of difference. What I've done is I've actually masked off these um, back sort of strips here. So, where you've got the sort of louvers or whatever you call them down there. I'm not even going to paint them, I'm going to keep them clear so it took a bit of time cutting them out just try to get them to match in right. And once I peel that away I'm hoping to have clear windows at the back so you can see inside obviously the normal window maskings and yeah fingers crossed it'll look quite good. Yes, some of my paint jobs they turn out really good, other ones not so much. Um, I've kind of been hit or miss recently but I'm hoping if I take a bit longer on this one Take my time, obviously I've took a lot of time with the mask and try to get everything flat, no bubbles. Hopefully it'll come out nice and clean, just basically as long as I get my consistent spray. So, and I've got this upside down, keep it a bit fit, but this sort of distance away, I don't know what it is, maybe 5-6 inches away, and just little bursts back and forward over it. And we'll just do as many coats as we need, let it dry. Um, in between coats obviously, so on this video I'm not going to stop every coat recording but um, I'll just kind of do it like a sort of time lapse when we're doing it. So basically it's going to be light coat, light coat, light coat all round, spin it round, make it even, let the, the cherry red dry, then we'll come back later on and what we'll do is once that we're happy with that, we'll do the same with the white, then we'll peel off all the masking tape and hopefully we'll have a nice looking shell and once that's done the fun bit of sticking all the stickers on and making it look like a car again so here we go enjoy and wish me luck Oh, my God. 
I find out you tried to zone me I'm number one up on that court I'm Nick McGrady The first one in, the last one out Can't call me lazy Put in my hours, send an invoice And they pay me I need six rings like MJ and Tom Brady I wake up, flex Thumb down that check No drip this Tell them run it all No sleep, no rest Might crash, might wreck But first I stretch Tell them run it all Right, that's the the first three coats done. That was about three coats, twenty minute interval in between. The paints went on very nice. Um, it was looking pretty pink to me, not cherry red. But we'll see when I'm finished. I'd actually thought as well. What I don't know if any of you guys have picked up in the video, but I thought I'd got pearl white. I've ordered pearl clear. So, as usual with me, I've got a paint mistake in my order, but I'll stick it on anyway, then what we'll do is we'll peel this off once it dries, see what it looks like, and fingers crossed it'll be a nice car. If anything, it's going to be a bright car, and yeah, we'll get we'll stick it up and hopefully it'll look good, but I'll get this coating on, we'll film this, not that you'll see much because it's clear, but yeah, hopefully it'll turn out good. Right guys, I started spraying that pearl clear and then um, it's not going to do much difference how many coats I put on. So just on the one, just a finishing coat, hopefully protect the paint a little. But what I can see here is it's got a really nice effect. It gives it a sort of really nice shine and it's almost like a kind of sparkling effect. So it will not help on this build or probably any basher because you'd probably have to paint on the outside to get the effect or at least put that coat on first. And then... Um, I'll probably next time I do a crawler build or something like that, I'll probably use that as a finishing coat because it's a really nice effect inside. But um, anyway, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take all this, obviously the film off and all the, the masking stickers, then we'll get our, our stickered up and hopefully she'll look quite good. But um, I'm still on the fence if I like it or not, but we'll see when it's on the body how it all turns out when it's all stickered up. So I'll get on with that just now, then we'll look at the finished product at the end. Well, if anything, I'm really happy with my back mask and how that's came up there, so the wee windows at the back there to look inside, I'm really happy with the masking. It took a bit of time, but I think it's paid off. So, you can see there, it's nice clean lines there. Um, what I might try and do, though, is it will still be clear, but what I'm going to do before I take the windows off here, is this pair all clear, just to see what it actually looks like on its own. I'm going to spray the inside of these windows, so I don't know if it'll give them a wee tint or a sparkle or if it'll make any difference, but we'll do that just out of curiosity just now, because I'll still get the effect I want anyway we're having the clear, and it won't be it won't be super Lexan clear anyway with a little coat in it, it should change the colour a little bit I'd like to think, so I'll spray that up quickly, dry it, then we'll come back, then I'll finish off peeling and stick it in. Just a wee idea I had in my head while I was doing this.
Right, I'm really, really pleased with that. Again, you can I don't know if it comes up here, but it's given it a little sparkle and it doesn't look just as basic plastic now, it looks more finished with that pedal paint on there, so I'm not going to do it on the windows yet, I'm going to have a look at them first, but I might do the windows as well, we'll see how it goes, but I do like that finish with that little paint over the inside of the clear, it just adds a little something that you might not see here in my sort of, sort of workshop area, but when I've got it out in the sun I think you're going to see a nice sparkle off that with the paint being on there, so I'll finish off masking, I keep stopping and starting just as I'm getting ideas as I do this and yeah, I'm, I'm starting to like it now, so hopefully hopefully it will look as good as I'm thinking it's starting to Right, it's really satisfying this bit, um, peeling the stickers off um, especially if you've masked it down right and it's all coming out well you kind of have to leave it for a while though to make sure it's really dry because you don't want to get any fingerprints on the paint because you can ruin it just with a little bit of impatience but the windows have came out really really nice here pretty happy again with that so I don't know if will I put the pearl clear tint on them or will I leave them how they are we think to myself I think I'm going to put the tint on. I think it'll just add a little bit of difference. So it's still going to be see through, but it gives it a sort of more smoky look. So it won't be. It's hard to explain. It won't be like um, as plasticky looking. It just gives it more of a sort of different kind of section look. It's, I can't think of the word, but it looks more finished, I think, when it's got a little paint covering over there, so we'll go and do that quickly then stick her up <laughs> yeah I think that was the right move, it's just got a nice reflective sort of glaze to it now, a little sparkle, it just looks it just looks right to me, yeah pretty happy so time for the stickers Right guys, here we have it, the finished Kronos XTR, tell me in the comments what you think. Not what I expected colour wise when I done it, but to be fair I'm actually pretty happy with it. It's definitely bright and definitely different, so yeah, can't grumble. Tell me what you think, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys out with a bashing video again fairly soon. Paul out, take care guys. I'm by my lonely Turn to a savage Now my baby wants to hold me 
I love my fans, don't need no friends, I got my homies Thought I could trust you, I find out you tried to zone me I'm number one up on that court, I'm Nick McGrady 